Now, the countdown has begun once again for India's visit to the moon. On midnight of the 15th of July, ISRO halted the launch as a technical snag was detected in the rocket system. Having now fixed the glitch, the rocket is back at the launch pad, ready for liftoff today at 2.43 p.m. Chandrayaan-2 is a three-in-one mission in an effort to unravel the mysteries of the moon and takes India's flag to the moon's surface. NDTV science editor Pallav Bagla was at the launch pad when the mission was aborted and is back there for its take two. Standing tall on the launch pad, India's most powerful rocket. A snag on the rocket 56 minutes before liftoff halted the mission. Now ISRO says it has resolved the problem and it is ready to fly Chandrayaan-2 to the moon. The snag was possibly a part of what is called the unknown unknowns in rocket parlance. Space fairing is no doubt a risky business. We do realize the space technology and space activities is always fraught with a lot of ifs and buts. No matter what you have done, how much work you have done, there could always be surprises. But notwithstanding this, like we have been talking earlier also, our effort is to make the best of the preparation and then be prepared for the worst. Hundreds of Indian scientists took less than a week to resolve the glitch. It was a serious but simple problem that was fixed by easily tightening the errant component. It did not require any parts to be changed, says ISRO. As the countdown proceeds on the second attempt, this 640-ton, 44-meter-tall monster, the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark III or the Bahubali, lifts Chandrayaan-2 into orbit. The moon-bound 3.8-ton Chandrayaan-2 satellite is released. It takes several rounds of the Earth before being shot off on its long 3.84 lakh kilometer journey to the moon. It is then slowed down so that the moon's gravity can capture it. The composite body spent several days in the moon orbit. On commands from ISRO, the Vikram lander with the Pragyan rover in its belly is released to land on the lunar surface. The Vikram lander starts its journey dubbed the 15 minutes of terror to the lunar surface. The orbiter and the lander together search for the best site to land using onboard cameras. The lander comes in for its final approach to land on the lunar surface. India's flag reaches the lunar surface and the Pragyan rover starts its long but slow lunar walk. So 14 instruments India hopes to look for the presence of water. Why is India looking for the presence of water on the moon? Because Chandrayaan-1 found the first presence of water molecules. And if ultimately ever, moon has to be colonized by humans, presence of native water on the moon is critical. So Chandrayaan-2, among many other things, key part searching for water on the near the south pole of the moon. It will be a long 48-day journey for Chandrayaan-2 before the moon landing is attempted in the first week of September. On the island of Sriharikota at India's rocket port, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.